conclude our session, I would like to invite Alan from M1 to speak about his idea of to use technology to help the blind and deaf. Thank you for inviting me to be a TEDx talk speaker. My name is Aaron Lee. My name is Messenger. I love art, piano, eating little ramen noodles. My favorite animal is a dog, and I especially love German Shepherds. Presently, I am in the fifth grade, and today I would like to talk to you about how to help a blind and deaf person to navigate with technology. If GPS can help my mom navigate the roads, I thought the same should apply to just about anybody. Well, do you know that 42 to 700,000 people globally live with both a visual and hearing disability? Well, I have exciting news for those folks. Blind people have been using guide dogs since 1927. In fact, next year will be the 90th year anniversary. Anyways. It takes people months and months of training for people to bond with the guide dog. Let's face it, some people just don't like animals. Well, you might say that's too bad, but then there are those people who are allergic to dogs. Dr. Stephen Hicks from the University of Oxford has explained interesting ways to help a blind person, and he claims, quote, what we're trying to do with this project is to produce a pair of glasses that can enable someone who has very little vision to walk around in unfamiliar places to recognize obstacles and to gain a greater independence, end quote. Finger readers and other gadgets that house blind people be like everybody else. MIT Media Lab Project is a very chunky ring that sits on your finger is capable of detecting and reading out loud the printed text as the user scans his or her finger across the page. Small vibrations alert the wearer to any deviation off the line. How cool is that? Well, two really smart students, Thomas Potter and Vita Zodi from the University of Oxford of Washington, have invented gloves that translate sign language into speech out loud. You know what's even better? Blind Deaf students can now get this program as an app for smartphones so that they don't have to carry their laptops everywhere. By the way, did you know that you can actually hear with your tongue? This technology is made possible by the Colorado State University and it relies on a Bluetooth earpiece that sends electrical impulses to an electrode packed retainer that wears press their tongue against to hear pretty awesome. Anyways, I think my idea is much simpler and cheaper. And seriously, who doesn't like simpler and cheaper, right? Well, my idea is that the person will wear a headband in the summer and a hat in winter. There will be two small objects, one on the right and one on the left, that will tap you on the head. There will be a plug to connect your phone, and all you have to do is download it navigation app to navigate. Then there will be simple directions, such as every time it tapped you once on the right side of your head, you would step right. Every time it tapped you twice, you would turn right. Same process for the left. If you stop, both of the objects will tap you at the same time. To avoid hitting others and obstacles, there will be little vibrations to warn you of close objects. Depending on where and how close, there will be a vibration on different sides of the head. The closer an object is, the higher the vibration will be on your head. It will either be left, right, or center, depending on the direction of the object. How to help a blind and deaf person is definitely an exciting idea, being explored by many. My GPS helmet idea hasn't been tried out before. Now I'm sure just a bit of tweaking a big corporation willing to test my theory, the visually and the hearing impaired might actually benefit from an idea of a kid in the fifth grade. Thank you. Mm -hmm.